Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and here we are for today's video. We will be making the world's loudest cap gun by modifying this cap gun to shoot shotgun primers. Now, um, I'm going to be doing lots of videos like this from now on, because as you can see, I'm in an actual garage rather than my apartment now that I'm done school and back for the summer. So lots of cool videos, big, noisy, dangerous ones like this. So stay tuned for those and watch me do this project today. So what I've done so far off camera was simply take a drill and as you can see there's all the holes for the caps and I just used the drill to drill one out so that a shotgun shell primer, which if you didn't know looks just like this guy here, will fit perfectly in the hole. I promise it does. There you go, just like that fits perfectly in the hole and now the issue we're having is when you put the cartridge in the gun it will obviously spin like this it does spin I've already started to modify it so it won't spin because it's too hard to line up with the bigger holes so as you can see it spins because of these triangular notches around the perimeter so we're gonna go ahead and grind those off so here it is in the vise, and again, there's all the um, the spikes, as you can see, which the thing pushes on. So as you can see, I've already grinded one off here. We're just using my standard issue Dremel tool with a cutting head, and we're going to be cutting them off just like that. So here's our progress so far. As you can see, I've smoothed out this entire side. So we have one, two, three, four four left and this guy's taking way too long so we're going to upgrade something a little bigger so here as you can see is the perfectly completed cylinder there's no more spikes, and there's the one hole. I'll only use the one for now, but if you wanted, you could do one there, one there, one there, and one there, space two apart. I might do that at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But right now, let's get a test shot in, see if it works. Turns out that modifying the cylinder wasn't enough. As you can see when I pull the trigger, this guy is what rotates. That, that little spike that sticks out there. So what I'm gonna do is hold the trigger down a little bit, take my grinder or my little Dremel might be better because it's a small area and just saw that guy off right there there you have it folks almost no more spike to stick out as you can see if I go flush like this you can barely see it anymore so mission accomplished everyone, I've disabled the um, rotating mechanism, I'm sure most of you have used a cap gun, but now when I pull the trigger, just get my one shot so I can line up the big hole perfectly, shoot and kaboom. Here we go with the first shooting test, as you can see I've hooked up a string to the trigger and it goes all the way back here to my hand and I'm going to go stand way over there because I don't know if this thing's going to blow up or not. So give me a second to unwind my string. I'm keeping tension on the trigger because it's on a good spot on the trigger. All right, uh, here we go. Shotgun primer in cap gun test number on one. Firing in three, two, one. Okay, so the loop of string on the trigger couldn't provide enough power. So I'm going to just use the same loop of string, this time on the hammer. So when I pull back, it should move the hammer. Again, if this works, I'll do a handheld version. But for now, this is going to have to do, because I don't want the gun to blow up in my face. So, uh, here we go. Testing. Round two. Um, in three, two, one.
Wow, that was very loud. Okay, so before I do a handheld, if I even decide to, here's the aftermath. Open it up, it's still smoking a little bit, as you can see. And here's the shotgun primer. It's a little warm, but not too warm to the touch. And it kind of expanded a little bit like that. As you can see, compared to the usual ones are all flat, like this. So this one, I guess, that's what they do. They explode kind of like that. Now let's check out the condition of my gun. So first is the barrel. Looks good. It's actually a straight through barrel. So if I wanted to shoot anything out of it, technically I could. It'd be kind of illegal, but let me know if you want to see that. I can make a future video. Okay, I think it's time to uh, do a little handheld shot. Probably just using this trigger because I don't want my hand to be too close to that. And I'll turn the lights off to see if it makes any cool fire. Here we go. Here we go, test two in the dark. Um, it was really loud the first time, so I made sure to put on my protective ear wear. So, uh, uh, got my round loaded in. Make sure it's perfectly centered. And here we go. Firing in three, two, one. Oh, the gun exploded. Let's see what happened. So the first thing to note is what happens back here. This was not like this from regular caps. And it's not like carbon that I can rub off with my finger. It's on there good. Now on this end of the spectrum, again we have the burst open shell. What I'm thinking happens is this. See how it expands? Might hit this here. And just create so much pressure that it blows out here. Now... It may have also done this if my barrel was slightly misaligned. So all the pressure, instead of going straight through, yeah, you can't really see straight through anymore. It may have pushed like right here on the gun, blew the barrel forward, or is it possible we broke our latch on the first run? I don't think so. Actually, I think we did. Right there, there used to be a little triangle latch, and it just broke. So, very powerful. Holy moly. I'll put that in slow motion for you guys. Show you guys some fire, maybe. But there you have it. The cap gun that shoots shot shell primers. If I was to make this a permanent device, I would obviously make maybe a clamp that holds it together this way. If you guys want to see this again, maybe me putting, like... A BB in the barrel and using my crony to see how fast it goes. Um, probably an illegal speed, so I recommend maybe not building this or buying a cap gun with a plug in the barrel so you don't get in trouble. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got a whole bunch of cool videos planned since it's the summer. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.